Hello, this is Dan York from Voxeo, and I want to talk to you today about an incredibly powerful way to use Google Wave for collaborative conference note taking and conversation. Now, I saw this being used last week at Ecom Europe in Amsterdam, October 28th to 30th, 2009, and I'm going to show you how it was used and then show you how you can set this up for your own conference or your own event or whatever you want to go and do. So, last week at Ecom, organizer Lee Dryberg. Uh, brought the uh, Google team there. They gave a couple talks. They gave everybody Wave accounts, and they also sh showed the way to go and do this. And I'm going to explain what they did and how they did it. As an aside, this is the kind of powerful stuff you you find at the Ecom, the Emerging Communications Conference. If you're not aware of it, it's at ecom.ec. That is a top level domain, ecom.ec. And uh, yes, Fox is a sponsor. We have speakers there. We we love it. It's a great show. But let's talk about how Wave was used there. So here I am in in Google Wave. I'm actually on a Mac using a very cool program called uh, Waveboard, which is a separate client that uh, basically reskins the browser. But anyway, it's called Waveboard, getwaveboard.com. So what I'm going to do is go up here and I'm going to say tag colon ecom with colon public. And this is a search box. And what this is showing me is all of the public waves where anybody can go and join the wave, can look at the wave, can edit the wave, and all of those that were tagged ecom. And I'm going to come back to how to do that. But let me take a look here, and this is the kind of the master wave, the uh, sessions wave directory. And uh, as noted here, the etiquette, the first person to create a wave should title the wave with a session name, tag it ecom, make the wave public, and add a link below. We'll see, I'll walk you through all that. So down here are links to all of the waves for each of the ecom sessions that were set up. And the cool part about Wave was that this is all stuff you can go back and edit later. So refactor, you can add in the Wednesday, Thursday, when the breaks were. All of that could be added later. But in the heat of the moment, you could be just live waving. Uh, you could be entering in information here and go back and refactor and change it later. So here was this uh, one session, Goodbye Minutes, Hello Moments by Martin Geddes. And live waving, there was uh, collab you know, bullet points being put in here. The interesting thing was that this multiple people could be doing this. And what I saw emerge was that one person would often be the one putting in the notes, and then other people would go back in and add additional notes, uh, correct typos, uh, make changes. They could do that at any point in time. And this particular wave was just that. It was notes and a note further discussion, nothing else, just all in one thing. And I can go in here and make changes right now, too. I could click on this, hit Control e now I'm in edit mode and I can go in and make changes if I wanted to. If there was something, a misspelling I saw here, like there, there is a natural, it's a, it should be natural. So I'm going to go in there and change that to natural life cycle. So I've done this, you know, a week later. This is after the, the conversation stuff. I'm going to finish that and we can go on from there. So let me go back to the session wave directory and I'm going to pull up another one. I'm going to look down here. Here's one. Almost all marketing and product management telco services is wrong. So here's one that there are some live notes that were taken. Uh, somebody later put in the PowerPoint file directly in here as an attachment. The speaker went back later and put in a link to, uh, to where an article was about his items that were there. And then there were comments. So people left comments that were, that were here, a number of them that were made. And then also notice the speaker went back in and answered a comment that somebody had left and uh, also put in a link to the presentation again. I'm going to show you another one. This time, instead of going back to Session Wave, I'll go back here to my inbox, and at the top, there's one that's uh, recently been edited, The Rise of Real-Time Text. This is one that Voxeo's RJ Auburn did. And again, you can see notes that were made here, links that people put in, and then there were comments that were left. And then after the fact, RJ went back in and answered those comments. So he put a response in. Other people commented on that. Uh, RJ responded back as well. And you can, you know, it's, it's a great thing. From a presenter's point of view, we're getting used to Twitter back channels. But the challenge is you've got to go and search for mentions of your session and respond back to those individuals. It's not always clear. And some conferences try us with session-specific hashtags, but I haven't seen that working terribly well. But, you know, you are able to go um, in here, respond to the comments there. It's all aggregates, it's all in one place, assuming, of course, people have wave access, which is a separate issue. But you can go down there. Somebody else, Ralph Rotman, put up some links to some posts. He did. Uh, other people responded to other links. RJ posted his, uh, his, put his link in there as well as the file. Uh, discussion continued. Great place to go and look at this for people who are you know, not there or who missed the session. They want to go back and see what was talked about. Uh, all cool stuff. Other things that happened 
were uh, the people, participants, created a, a wave about uh, things to improve for Ecom 2010. And this was created actually, I think, by somebody who wasn't there. Um, and, you know, solicited feedback, other things were going on, great feedback to the conference organizers. All of this, again, being created with public waves tagged Ecom. Now, to get back to this very quickly and easily, um, again, I can use this search that says tag Ecom um, with public. I can also save that as a search. Over here on my left side, you can see there's a little searches button. I press this, I can type in uh, Ecom Europe and um, the query again is tag colon ecom with colon public and then I can submit that and it's saved as an actual search. I've already done that so here's a search I have. I can click on this and I get back to it. So easy to get back to again. So let me now show you. Um, I'm at VoiceCon this week in San Francisco so I've been trying to do the same kind of thing and here's how I do it. I've created a VoiceCon session waves and I've created a few different waves for things. Um, let me show you the process of how I do this. I'm going to create a new a new wave. I'm going to call it uh, VoiceCon Securing Converged Networks. And I don't know both of the speakers. I know that one of them is Mark Collier from Secure Logics. I could put things like a link to the um, to the the page. I could put a you know author bios, whatever else I want to do. So the wave has been created. And now I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to tag it, in this case, VoiceCon. Okay. And then I'm going to go up here and I'm going to make this public by adding a bot called EasyPublic at AppSpot.com. Now, I've added this to my wave context. So one thing is I've gone down to the context area. I've added EasyPublic at AppSpot.com to my contact list so I can do this. So now I add this. And so now what happens is that the bot goes and says, not yet implemented user, gave everyone access. So it's still a beta, definitely. But now this is a public wave and you see that it pops up over here where it says VoiceCon securing converged networks. So that's now a public wave somebody could find and I and others could go and add notes to this. Now to get it on the session waves um, wave that I've created, I go in here, I click on that top blip, I edit it, Control E gets me in there quickly. And then, this is the funny part, I didn't know at first. I go back over here to uh, my center box. I grab the wave from the far right corner is what works best for me. I drag it and I drop it and now it's in there. And so now when I click done or shift enter, I can click on this and I can jump to that particular wave. Let me show you that process again. Uh, I'm gonna create another, a new wave. I'm gonna create one on uh, voice mashups. I'm doing a session on that tomorrow. And I'm going to do this and create that. I'm going to again tag it as voice VoiceCon. And then I'm going to go up here. I'm going to add to it. I'm going to say Easy Public. <clears throat> okay. And it gave everyone access. It shows up over here. So all of that's good. I'm going to go back to the session wave. I'm going to click on the blip. I'm going to edit it. And I'm going to drag that wave over here. Okay, so again, done. Now I'm set. So people coming in here can be able to click on this, uh, go into that wave, be able to add notes to it, be able to work with it. Uh, a couple cool things that I saw happen last uh, week at Ecom where people left these comments, and yes, speakers could go back and respond later. I don't know if it happened because I wasn't there, but you could see that questions could be relayed to the speakers in real time, you know, if somebody was monitoring the wave, looking at that, saw the questions, raised the question to the speaker during the Q&A. Also, people could take photos, be able to go and post those photos into uh, the wave so that people would have some kind of recollection there. So that's the process that you can go and, and create, you know, really powerful to me, an example of how you could use this. Uh, one caveat, these waves are open to the public. So it is with anybody searching on just with public would find these waves. I have seen some people who've gone into public waves and added other links, added other comments, you know, abused this. They've gone and, and spammed the waves, et cetera. So there is that danger in there. But this is the process that you have out there. And I hope this was helpful. And I look forward to seeing other public waves that people create for other conferences. Bye for now.